Corporate finance practice problem using Excel. Convertible bond, conversion value, and conversion premium. Get ready. It's time to take our chance with corporate finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet, would like to follow along. Note that we're in one of two practice tabs as opposed to one of two example tabs. The example tabs, in essence, being the answer key. Information's on the left-hand side. We're going to populate that information into the blue area on the right-hand side, looking at the convertible bonds. So we have the information saying the convertible bond outstanding. We have $1,000 par value, and we can convert them into 40 shares so we have the option then but not the obligation to convert the bonds if so choosing from bonds to the shares of stocks and they can convert to 40 shares so the common stock market price is going to be the 34 dollars. so we're saying that the common stock so if we had the bonds and were to convert them into the common stock of the company normally the common stock is trading on the market for the 34 dollars. the convertible bond market price we're saying is 1400 so that means that these bonds are selling at a premium over and above the par value of the four thousand dollars so let's take a look at the conversion value of the bond conversion value of the bond is going to be the common stock market price so we're going to pick up the market price of the 34 dollars and we got the conversion ratio conversion ratio being the 40 shares so we got the 40 shares here for the bond that can be converted into 40 shares going to underline that font group and underline that's going to give us the conversion value of the bond meaning if we were to convert the bond into the shares of common stock we would get the 40 shares of common stock which are training for the 34 dollars giving us then a value of the 34 times the 40 or 1360. so then let's think about the conversion premium conversion premium calculated as the convertible bond market price this is what the bond itself is selling for remember the par value 1000 but they're selling for at a premium the bond here with the conversion feature to it of the 1400 dollars the conversion value of the bond we calculated up top comparing it out to the 1360 if we were to take those bonds and purchase them in other words purchase the bond a bond for 1400 for that par value $1,000 bond that has the conversion feature for the 40 shares then and then convert it we would be paying 1400 and then convert to a value of the common stocks at the 1360 so I'm going to underline that so that's going to give us the conversion premium which would be equal to 1400 minus the 1360 so obviously if we were to just purchase the bonds and just turn around and convert them we wouldn't be in a good situation given the fact that uh, that we could have just purchased basically the common stock. However, the bond gives us, of course, the option to see if what happens in the future. So if in the future there becomes a situation where the stock price goes up, then, of course, the conversion feature of the bonds is going to be looking much more attractive. If that does not happen, then you still have the bond, and that's okay. You don't have to convert. You can forego the conversion and still get the bond results, which would include the 1000 at the end, as well as whatever interest payments on the bonds would be there. So it kind of gives you that openness to the upside in case the stock goes up in value while still giving you basically that bond the benefits of the bond what would be the benefit of the company to issue a convertible bond in that situation well generally the ability to have that access to the upside the convenience on the investor side means that the bonds are typically going to be issued for some value less than meaning interest payments typically being less than they would for bonds without the conversion feature let's think about the conversion uh, the conversion price is going to be the par value so now we're not looking at the, at the market value when we're looking at the conversion price. We're looking at the par value, which is what would be received upon the maturity of the bond. And uh, we're not taking into consideration, you know, like the present value of the interest payments and the present value of the principal to get to the conversion price, which would be the market price. I, I'm sorry, the, con, the price of the bond, which would be the market price of the bonds of the, of the 1,400, just the par value of the 1,000. And we can convert them into 40 shares. So we're going to take the amount that we can convert to. Let's call that the conversion ratio, which is going to be 40. And underlining that font group and underline, that's going to give us a conversion price 
conversion price, which is going to be equal to the 1000 divided by the 40 or the $25. So once again, just to recap this, if we think about the conversion value of the bond, we can convert the bond into 40 shares, current stock price $34. That means the value then of the conversion, conversion value would be the 1360 The conversion premium, because typically we will be buying these bonds basically at an amount over the conversion value of the bond, because that's typically how they'll be issued, but you have that, that upside that could happen in the future and the ability to hold on to the bonds. So the convertible bond market price is at the 1400 That's going to be the value of it on the market, what it would be selling for compared to the conversion value, which we calculated just above, means that we have that conversion premium. We're paying $40 over basically the conversion value in order to give us that ability to basically hold on to the bonds and or convert them in the future if there's a change. And then the conversion premium taking into consideration the par value, not the market price, comparing the conversion ratio to get the conversion price of the $25. Let's do it again. Similar kind of scenario in example two. So I'm going to go to the practice problem uh, two tab. Now we have the convertible bond outstanding 1000. You can convert into shares of 25 and the common stock market price is 35 we're saying and the convertible bond market price is the uh, 910 so notice that the 910 means that the bond is actually selling at a discount instead of a premium which is one of the major differences between these two examples so let's do the same type of thing we got the conversion value of the bond we're going to say is going to be we'll pick up the uh, price which is going to be the 35 common stock uh, market price we got the conversion ratio, so the conversion ratio, which is going to be 25. 25 on the conversion ratio, underline in that font group, and underline is going to give us the conversion values. The conversion value of the bond is going to then be equal to the $35 times the 25, uh, 25 shares that we could have. That's going to be the 875. Let's take a look at the conversion premium. So the conversion premium is going to be the uh, convertible bond market price. Let's pick that convertible bond market price. This is how much the bond would be selling for on the market, which is 910 less than the par value selling at a discount. And then we're going to say that we have the conversion value of the bond comparing that that we just calculated at the 875 means that we're buying this at a conversion premium of 910 minus the 875 or a 35 dollar conversion premium meaning once again if we bought the bonds and basically converted them right away we'd basically be losing out on 35 dollars but of course buying the bonds that has that conversion feature allows us with that upward potential to to be, have that in the future and they basically the safeguard of also having the bond in the event that uh, the conversion feature becomes irrelevant or not worth having. Then we have the conversion price, which we're going to be picking up the par value, the par value of the 1000, the 1000. And then we're going to say this is the conversion ratio, meaning we can pick up 25 shares if we exercise it. We're going to go to the font group and underline that'll give us the conversion price conversion price which which remember is being compared to the par value not including basically the the market value here that we're comparing to with the conversion price that being then 40.